Hi there, we are continuing our road trip up north. We are stopping at Lewistown, Pennsylvania. This was a very, very big Goodwill, and a lot of treasures were to be found at this one. When you first came in off to the right, they had kind of specialty items, and I thought these were really pretty. These are three Hallmark ceramic big large bulb ornaments from 2008 so they're as old as Jenny <laughs> and these were some old-fashioned skates they were super duper heavy and Jenny got a kick out of um, seeing what skates look like back in the day I never used these but I did have the sneaker kind of roller skates where it looked like a sneaker and they were actually roller skates so these were in very good shape they were three for a dollar 99 so I decided to put them in the cart they had a little display of some Easter items I thought these were cute these little metallic Easter bunnies but I felt they were more contemporary so I did leave those there and plus I hate photographing reflective things <laughs> and then this was really neat because it was the snack dish with the center and the lazy Susan so we decided to move on they have this really pretty wedding dress. Very, very nice. And I think I get the price there. There it is, $25. It was very pretty. So we kind of came in the clothing aisle section and then we went over to the where I thought was the hard goods and there was a whole bunch of toys and I thought, wow, this Goodwill has a lot of toys. And then I realized we were duh in the toy section so we decided to take our time and see if there were any toys that caught our attention that we thought were really cool there was a play-doh oven not like an easy bake oven but probably went with a set something else i always look to see if there's american girl dolls or american girl doll items uh, jenny is pointing oh she's telling me what that is it's like a Shopkins or a, one of those things. I don't know. That's why I keep her along because she's like, that's a that and that's a what. <laughs> I thought this was interesting. It's like a, a wave of water with a surfer on it. And I like to check out the puzzles and games because if a puzzle is new, wrapped, and has never been open, I do like to pick those up because it's already in the box and it's very easy to ship. I know baseball gloves can be good money but I don't know anything about baseball gloves so I left those there and I thought this was unusual because usually you see these smaller and this is a very large one of these metal coppery angel candle holders so I left that there a modern old-timey radio and I thought these birds were cute it reminded me of the three birds on the welcome sign that I had for sale in my store that just recently sold can you get the cart? Let's see what's this one. Oh, I won, Denny. I won. I'm back here. I did have an advantage that time because she was behind me and she did not see the praying hands, but I was winning the game nevertheless, one to zero. <laughs> And we continued on in the toys, and I considered this uh, little trinket dish, but I did end up putting that back. And then I thought that this was an unusual painting. It looked like it was original from 1998. And then they had some little doodads, and I thought, hmm, I hope there is more to this store. And there was, but first we had to get through this section. This was a little primitive wood section that they had. I thought these large boxes were interesting. I felt someone had done the paint on those. And let's see, here were the lamps and the lamp shades. And these were some lights. They had some letters. I couldn't see if it spelled out anything. So I was just going to assume that it was the alphabet or maybe they spelled out happy birthday. I wasn't quite sure. I thought that lamp was neat if you lived at the beach. And here was a cute little monkey lamp. I was seeing if there were any shades to fairy lamps that got stuck over here. And unfortunately, there were not. Then Jenny and I were wondering what this was. And then I realized that this was a hummingbird feeder. And Jenny thought that it would be a little bit dangerous that it could fall and break. 
So I would guess you'd have to make sure that it was secure and maybe hanging over your grass. So in case it did fall, it would not break. And then they had a little red section here. I was looking to see if there was anything made in Sweden because those bright red colors reminded me of a candlestick I just had that was made in Sweden. That was that pretty bright red. And here we're just finishing up this area. They had a lot of sets of uh, vintage dishes at this Goodwill, and I don't have the space to buy them and keep them, so I just like to look at them and maybe pick up a creamer or sugar if I like it. So if these are dishes that are good sellers, I did not get them because I just don't have the room to keep a whole bunch of dishes well, and before they sell. <laughs> this is made in China, nice little pottery piece. There were a couple of these little teapots that were made in Japan, and then this one grabbed my attention. This is a Francoma pottery teapot, and I really like the looks and the colors of it, and so I decided to take that with us. There is a very, very tiny chip to the underside of the lid, but I think it is really, really pretty. And then they had a ton of jeans, a ton of jeans if you needed jeans a lot of clothing here at this one and at this one this goodwill and then we started over to the hard goods section i thought ah here are all the hard goods and on the end cap was these i believe are made by were made by libby they're democratic drinking glasses i did look them up i just couldn't see really high comps sold comps on them so i decided to leave that those there and then I thought these look like Fiesta wear dishes, but with the design, kind of the cutout design on the edges, I thought, well, these aren't Fiesta wear, but they, the colors look like, like Fiesta wear. They had a whole bunch of this Taylor Smith Taylor. This is the King Odell or Jack in the Pulpit pattern. Look at all the, well, it's real quick, I show you, but they had a lot of those pieces and this was by Threshold. And then the piece up here is Metlocks of California, the poppy trail. That was the only piece of that pattern that I found. And then up here was a creamer and sugar by Edwin Knowles. And I had just said, well, I like to pick up creamers and sugars, but I just decided to leave those on the shelf. They had a lot of plates. <laughs> and then this was a pretty bowl. This is Lusterware, that shiny paint is called lusterware and this was marked bavaria and i really liked this pattern this is made by universal ballerina and the pattern name is called woodvine i really liked the uh, red on this pattern i thought it was very pretty and then we moved into the yellow and orange section and giving you a look at the shelves here was a little bag of figurines they look like they were foxes and a penguin of course and then up here we had some oranges. I don't think they were shakers. I think they were just decorative oranges. And then this kitty cat glass I thought was cute. The color grabbed my attention. I was trying to read what it said on the bottom of it. There was only one. Here's another look at the shelves. These plates, I've seen these plates before. I couldn't quite make up the make out the name of the maker and then behind us was the silver section and here was a wrap that was from ikea i love ikea i love going there i like the meatballs <laughs> and then i thought this was interesting the handle was different <laughs> and it looked like it was probably an independence 1776 says the declaration of independence so i would assume it was probably from the 70s I was asking Jenny if she wanted a banana split. And then this, look at that. I believe it was originally an ashtray, but I think it's a really cute elephant dish and it can lay flat or on the end there, stand up. And this was very pretty. I think we're moving into the pink section. Hope that doesn't annoy you that I'm telling you what section we are in. <laughs> it just kind of comes naturally. 
we are now entering the pink section and up here they had a little collection of the same kind of applied flower design and this was a pretty very light but it looked like it was more contemporary and these dishes were nice and then they had a book section and Jenny uh, was looking for books and then I spied this and my sister and I grew up listening to old time radio shows. We didn't have TV growing up. So a lot of these are my favorite shows. My favorite show uh, is The Whistler because the stories are always ironic. Ironic at the end, you find out who done it. And then Jenny thought this was cute. She likes reading the comics every day and we thought that was funny that the fresh clam was looking at poor Ziggy. Moving on, I thought that maybe this was a Yankee Candle, and this was different. It was like a birthday girl, but it was a bell, and it was marked Made in Japan, so it was probably pretty old. And then these grabbed my attention because I had just picked up those Moravian stars at Goodwill, and these were lights, and they were waxed. And... I pushed the thing and it didn't light, which didn't mean it, it probably made it, maybe needed a battery, but I thought that was pretty. It came in a big glass jar. And then I looked at these, I thought maybe these were bone china, but they were uh, plastic mice. So I left those there after I made sure that they weren't bone china. I had to really look very carefully. And here was, our, I think this was the first hobbyist piece that I found here. That was different. You could stick something inside the cracked egg. And then I'm a dog mom. <laughs> so I thought that was a cute mug. And then here was a Hershey S'mores mug. I did look this mug up. It doesn't sell for too much money. I thought it was cute. I like the colors of it. It kind of had the look of a enamel mug, but it was ceramic. But I decided to leave that one on the shelf. And we went around the corner. Here, these were on the end cap. That was just resin, so I left that there. And then here is a bigger red section. The shelves were very full. And I thought this was a neat glass, but they only had one. I wonder if this is vintage or contemporary. I would guess vintage. And then they had a whole bunch of the same pattern mug over there. And then these were on the bottom. I thought these are really pretty. They're, they could be bookends or planters. I really like the color of them. I have done a little research on them, and I found them for sale at two different websites, So, and I can't find a, a true maker of them, and they are not marked. They didn't even have a Made in China sticker or anything. So I think they're very pretty. And I was being nosy and was wondering what was in Kitty's toolkit, and it was tools. So I put the cover back on and this was, I guess, maybe for guacamole. I don't think it would be to keep your avocado because your avocado would turn brown. And then here was a whole bag of Yankee Candle tart wax warmer candle melt things. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. And a whole bag of them for only $3.99. So I did pick those up. And for myself <laughs> and I felt that this probably maybe was for sushi that plate there and then this teacup or teacup that's a teapot this teapot was missing its lid and then this is a Starbucks reserved enamel cup originally sold for $19.99 I'd never seen this before so I decided to take that and then I was a little shocked at the price of this. That was $6.99. But it was originally $34.99. But I felt something was missing. So I left that there. And that was a little purse. And then when I look back, I was like, this looks like Fitz and Floyd. And it was from 1994. And there are no chips on it. Because th this tends to chip very easily. And I like the looks of it. I thought it was very pretty.
these were very nicely done these were done on ceramic they were little vases when you turned them around i think they showed the same barn at different times of the year i think if i recall correctly and i'm looking to see if there is anything that i can purchase here in this aisle and then i found this bag of vintage plastic wall things and the bunnies spell out love and then there are two other little plastic things that um, show sleeping teddy bears so probably from a vintage nursery i thought the love would be cute especially with valentine's coming up and then they had a bunch of these mugs and the plates that matched and the bowls and then here was another original painted piece on a piece of wood and then I noticed that there was a smaller piece that looked like it was done in the same style they were a little bit faded but I thought they were neat if you like that look that'd be a great addition and then I thought oh I could graduate from the <laughs> Pennsylvania State University um, if I took those and then it's always fun to find an original box so inside this snack set, this they had a little tag. It was probably sold at a antique mall. Here was a snack set with the, the little cups would fit in the corner. And then I was like, wait, an Avon Volkswagen. And then when I looked up towards the top, not there, right there, <laughs> there was the Avon Volkswagen perfume. Volkswagens have been a running theme in the videos lately. And then further down in the blue section, the leaves on this art pottery piece caught my eye, and it is done by Emily Shuey from 1978. I thought it was neat. I liked the colors, and I liked how it had the print of the leaves on it and the little handles. And then I recognized this as the same maker as the awesome Michigan mug that I just picked up. This is a souvenir piece from Florida. And so I decided to get that. And I had bought two wind chimes at an auction one time. I forget the name of the maker, but they were hand done. They were signed. And this one I felt was more manufactured. And it had just the random J on the block letter. And it had some toys. And it was very snarled. So I decided to leave that there. And then I thought this train was cute. It was more contemporary because it had the barcode and i see a bag of teddy bears there's some lucy and me or cherished teddy bears it looks like so i leave that on the shelf and i also find what do i find <laughs> i've already forgotten oh this was a latch hook kit but it was it didn't have the yarn so it was just, I think, the, the part that you put the yarn into. That always hurts my fingers whenever I try to do it. And then here was a hieroglyphics. It reminded me of something that you would buy at a bookstore where it, it has the book. And then this had stamps in it. It looked like it had been used a little bit. Something like Barnes & Noble you would find. And then I needed to see what was in this bag. And this was, well, we're going to look at that first and then move it off to the side. There we go. And then this was just a big bag of snowmen. But for $3.99, if you wanted a big bag of snowmen, it seems that the Goodwills are collecting a whole bunch of something to, I think, move the product along. And then there was a clock, but it was uh, made of plastic to make it. It was supposed to look like wood but it was plastic and it's always fun to look at the bags because you never know what you'll find this was a little wooden train set I remember I think it said made in Japan I think it said that and then here was a little souvenir piece and then I found these napkin rings I do like picking up this brand that's Ardalt, I believe is how you say it. It's made in Japan. And then I spied this little 
stone trinket dish. I do have a smaller one that has been for sale for a while in my shop, so I think I'll combine that smaller one in this one and sell the two of them together. And then I thought these were adorable. I have taken them out of the frames to make it cheaper to ship because then I thought someone would maybe want to put them in nicer frames or sew them into something else. But I thought that would be very cute for a child's room or bathroom because it, it has mostly to do with brushing your teeth and washing your hands. I thought someone very creative could do something with those. So I'm going to sell the two ducks together and then the other four pieces together. I think they're very sweet. And then I came around the corner and a giant pink panther was waiting for me. And I said, hop in the cart. And so he did. And then this is more towards the left side of the store when you first walk in. And I thought that was a very nicely done handmade wooden bowl out of a natural piece of wood. I think they call that live edges when the wood hasn't been sanded down or I could be making that up. I'm looking for a mark and I see the mark there. I believe it said Royal. And these were kind of like more higher end things. It seemed they were decorating over here with, and I really like this, this box. I feel it's a sewing box because it has a small little pocket on the inside and it has a nice age to it. And the inside of the lid has the owner has her signature or maybe who made the box. I think it's very neat. So I decided to take that. And then when I ran around, when I, blah, <laughs> when I went around the corner, I spied this and this pattern looked very familiar. And when I peeled the label back, it said BBP. And so this confirms that the tumbler that I found a couple weeks ago, months ago, is also by BBP. So here is everything that we picked up on this trip to Goodwill. We are going to tr keep traveling up north. We are next going to go to State College at the, on the next video. I hope you liked this video. Thank you so much for subscribing and giving me a thumbs up if you like this video. Please leave a comment. I love reading your comments. When I read how my videos made you laugh or made you smile, it makes me even more, in, well, it makes me more excited, more excited and looking forward to what else can I show you and share with you on this channel. I hope you are having a great day and I'll see ya.